Hello guys and welcome to our Drama Llama Day. Uh, got a key for Ken Follett's Pillars of the Earth. I've actually been a uh, little bit interested in this since I had seen it at one point. And so we're going to end up taking a wonderful look at this. Better, better freaking pop up in a second. I know you can hear it, but there we go. Hi, Amaya. How are you? I don't know anything about this game other than the fact that it is based off of a book series, I believe, which is why it's Ken Follett. Um, so we're going to find out what happens. If it lets me use a controller, I'm using a controller. Uses an autosave function. Please do not turn off your system while the symbol is displayed to press any key to continue. Like every other game. Pillars of the Earth from the Ashes, Book One, Chapters One through Seven. Ah, oh, I got, I got advertisements in the bottom corner. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Amaya. That really sucks. Start a new game. Your unsaved progress will be lost. That's fine because I haven't even started this. Do you want to play the tutorial? Yes, because I don't know how to play this game. What is going on? Oh my god. Uh, walk by left clicking where you want to go. Okay. So we have an adventure game look to this. Move your cursor around the room when it changes to blank. Click the right mouse button multiple times to think about the object. Sally knows what she's doing. Strange when your children surpass you. Masterfully crafted. What? To see all objects, characters, and exits you can interact with, click and hold the mouse wheel or press and hold the space bar. Oh, that's kind of nice, actually. Uh, why does the game want to freeze like this? What is going on? It's my fucking Avast in the background. Those were Tom's tools. He wanted me to have them. Best tools I ever had. Okay, hopefully, t yeah, just take them. Is that a Lala? No. Your inventory is displayed at the bottom of the screen on the left-hand side. Click your tools to equip them. Your tools are now equipped. Left-click on something to use them, like the gargoyle. To work on the gargoyle, left-click when the white dot is within the green area. No, I want to do it there. I broke it! <laughs> it was intentional. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I wonder if you can actually break stuff like this. Ooh, they're tools. <laughs> Talk to Sally, current location. I want to think about her first. My daughter, as stubborn as me, and as stubborn as her mother. <laughs> Left click to choose your answer. Later in the game, you can also skip lines of dialogue by clicking left. Wave to get your daughter's cough. It's a cough in her face. <clears throat> that's not a cough. That's clearing your throat. Uh, if you want to stay silent, wait for the timer to run out. That's, 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 you're so vocal. You're so vocal. <laughs> Oh my god. When your cursor changes to click to explore another area, double click on an exit to speed things up. Okay. At least you can speed through areas. Okay, that's nice. I can get down with the adventure game thing. Shiring England. 1135. It's not a fantasy game, but it seems like it's supposed to be good and it's got overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. And I have to say, the trailer looked really good. It's been out for a while. I know that. I don't know how much of it's been out. Ooh, ah, it's snowing. I wonder, if is this my character, would she have been there if I hadn't had her go with me? Oh, no. Just the tutorial. Ah, oh, this should do. How do you feel? Oh, can't complain. 
After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. And she's preggers in the snow. I promise. This will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find a job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape, but maybe strengthen the town's defenses. Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. It is very pretty. There. Took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? The old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. <laughs> oh my god. Burn your staff. Well, we might be able to sell it. Right, now let's see if this does the trick. Tell me if it's too quiet at any point because... Flint is dwindling, but the steel still shines. Because I know that this is story intensive. Martha, you want to cut up some turnips? We'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Alfred? She just has turnips in her pocket. Water. We could just eat snow. No. It'll be proper water for my family. You sit. I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters, something that stands for eternity, or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time, or would you keep on looking? Oh my god. Let's not respond to her. She's nagging now. We just don't want to. He's just standing here awkwardly staring at her. <laughs> Don't tell me you haven't thought about it. <laughs> I just don't acknowledge her. She's nagging. She's like, oh, I want a roof over my head. Well, you guess what? There's a branch over your head. You're fine. <laughs> just promise me you'll think about it. <laughs> just, he just refuses to talk to her. <laughs> oh, it's great. You just collected a clue. Clues work like items. Use them on characters to talk about them and use them on objects to ponder on how the clue and the ob Okay. Okay, that's nice. The baby is Maybe due in the coming week. Baby. Alfred! I'm joking. Don't listen to me. Those are our last turnips. If I don't get to work tomorrow, we will have to start begging. Alfred's become a bit stubborn, but he'll come around. He's a good boy. That must be his son or something. I'm gonna assume we need the metal pot for the water. As it vanishes. Stupid snow. Why did it have to come down just now? Give me my staff. Should never have left. Can you see the sun yet? Is what? No. But Martha. Don't distract me. I'm working. She's working. It's very, very difficult to have Gnamon. It's very difficult to have to slice turnips. We're going to inspect this. It's a mason's tool. He received it as a farewell gift in Ex Exeter, 1125. He uses it to lay the groundwork for new buildings. Its shadow can tell time and point out the east, the direction a church must always face. Exeter was Tom's first time working on a cathedral, and initially it was like any other job. His master builder often scolded him for not working up to standards, but soon Tom began to understand the importance of proportion, the symbolism of numbers, and the almost magical formulas for solid structures. The staff reminds him of his dream to one day build a perfect cathedral from the ground up. It's interesting. Okay. Let's go this way. We need proper water for the family. Into the forest. Frozen puddle. They deserve better than that, but if we cook it, it'll be fine. 
It's a frozen puddle. How am I gonna get the frozen puddle? Pesky beasts. I hope they stay away from our camp. Uh, shoo. <laughs> Sell the baby. It'd be better off. <laughs> Strong granite. If broken down properly, these would make wonderful por por porticus. Or just another plain boring door. Dirty snow. <sighs> Dirty with crow muck. Thorny bushes. Go that way. Nah, no getting through there. Damn it. What about up? Up. Deeper into the forest. Go. We could sell the baby. That's what they did at that time, right? Uh, it's just more woods down that way. Uh, apparently, he doesn't want to go that way. Well, how are you supposed to be getting water this way? Talk to the frozen puddle. Ah, that should be enough. I just need to break the ice. <sighs> Houses and sheds. Oh my god, are you serious? Walls and roofs. I could do so much better. But I have to feed my family. Hi, Kaz. Tom, what's keeping you? Did he just have a vision of something he wants to build? Can you can you get the, the water, the ice, whatever? Do you want to move faster? It's proper puddle water. It's proper ice puddle water. There we go. We're gonna make some turnip soup. And we're all gonna eat this. And we're gonna hate it. But we're poor. Um, did you think about what I asked you? Hello, Brad. Dreaming of building a cathedral was foolish. When we get to Shiring, I'll take the job. Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well. Start with the walls. Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple, with some walls. And on top of that, you put a roof. Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together that makes one big, long, but dark room. Like a cave. <laughs> uh, put in windows, because uh, it's too dark. So, of course, you may want some light coming in. Windows? Right. So the people inside can see what they're doing. Um, I think you forgot something. People can't get in if there are only walls. What do you suggest? No. What do you suggest, little girl? So, what do you suggest? Doors, of course. Right. And not only doors. But a big and impressive one. Brad is not really just religion. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that and have so many windows. So, what do we do? Good and solid work. That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. The walls, the roof, the windows, everything. Perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportioned when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. Well, Goodbye, Maya. it means not only will it keep them dry. Um, it will give them hope. 
it will give them hope. <laughs> and she decides to go into labor. Oh no. The baby is coming. But it's not G. Have your water's broken you? Soon after we started walking this morning. You should have told me. I'm so tired. I don't and think I she's gonna I survive. Can make it into the world. But look at all the blood. <laughs> um. <laughs> they're almost as scared as I am. And look around. There's some hot water, but we need that for soup. You don't need that. Why does everyone need hot water? Uh. Right. What can I do to help? Cover me. W will she die? She'll die, right? Oh my God. Such a worthless son. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> no, she's probably gonna die for plot. Here, cloak. Let me cover you. <laughs> so she said to do. Gonna hold her. Oh, That's holding her. Your hands are cold. I could warm them for you. No. Stay here, please. Um. Hold her with cold hands. Look around. Gotta tell the kids to do something. Children. Calm down. Calm down, you two. There's <laughs> nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> tell them Let us help. Martha. Uh Collect some reeds and make me two lengths of string, each big enough for a necklace. What? You'll see. I don't, I don't know why. why okay. Me? I guess. Uh. Get more water. Take snow if you must to make it warm. Right. Okay. I tell her a story. That'll make her feel better. Remember when Martha was born and the Lady Isabella acted as midwife? You were building a chapel. And you asked her to send her maid to fetch the midwife from the Hello, village. Nightlight. Yeah, and she said, that drunken old witch will let her deliver a literal wolfhound pups. And she took us to her own chamber. And poor Lord Robert could not go to bed until Martha was born. I agree, Brad. I should have done a bigger fire, but... Oh, well. Um, I'm gonna hold her with cold hand some more. I'll make her feel the world. I'm here with you. I know. It's so long now. Okay. Be ready. This is just gonna shoot out. Uh. What else can I do? Just stay with me. Oh, fine. The water's warm now. Put it next to me. I got warm water. You always need warm water. I don't know why, but we always need warm water. I'd say for a year as bad as this one, I've managed quite well. <laughs> You lost your work, and then Martha almost got killed by that pig thief. You call that well? We're going through hell. I oh, know. But we're still here for each other, aren't we? Holding together as a family. These yeah. builders aren't carved out of measly wood. Never were. You expect a lump of granite to come falling from my legs? I wouldn't be surprised. It's coming! Help me, Tom! <laughs> it's coming. I, can I like see it. <laughs> the Alfred looks like his head is just permanently forward. It looks horrible. He's perfect. A perfect boy. We've got a boy. Is she dead? Damn it. I mean, yay. You're still bleeding. It's all right. 
It will stop soon. Tom. Yes? Thank you for being my midwife. Oh. You remember the night I came to you? In your lodge? When you were working on my father's church? <laughs> of course. How could I ever forget? I never regretted giving myself to you. Never. For one moment. Every time I think of that night, I feel so glad. Me too. It's so sweet, we have a baby. It's just another fucking mouth to feed. <laughs> I hope you build your cathedral. I thought you were against it. She's dying. I was. But I was wrong. You deserve something beautiful. Build a beautiful cathedral for me. I just wanted to fall over. <laughs> oh, well, that wasn't falling over. Papa, what's wrong with her face? Agnes. Agnes, wake up. Sad. I had no emotional attachment to her. Well, that's one less mouth to feed. And that one eats more than the baby would. Oh crap, we don't have any way of feeding the baby now. Well, gotta get rid of the baby! Chuck it into a snow pile! Just leave it! Leave it in the woods! It's fine! Some wolves will come along and raise it. That's what happens, right? Oh, that's a dead person. <laughs> she dead, woo. Well. So, so far we know we have one guy who's basically a builder and apparently really good at his craft to the point that he wants to end up building a cathedral. I have no idea what this game is about, Brad. It's basically, there you go, it's based on a, a novel called The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett, which is why it's called Ken Follett's Pillars of the Earth. It's gotten really great reviews on Steam. I ended up requesting a key for it because it was available as th they were giving out keys for like, hey, review this. And I was like, eh, I don't know if anyone's going to want to watch it, but I'm very curious about it. And maybe some other people would be curious about it. So if people really like it, I'll try and finish it to its completion. And if people don't care for it much, um, I'll just do it on my own. But so far, it's not bad. I just, my general nature is to try and destroy the world, and that means every single character in this game. <laughs> uh, you want your cathedral to bring hope. You were hesitant to accept just any job the bishop might offer. Oh god, all of this mattered? You struggled to support Agnes during childbirth. You struggled to support her. I did a damn good job! You found no information about Tom's past. Oh yeah, I did find it because of the staff. Book one, From the Ashes. So the game is separated into different books, I believe, and you need to either buy the season pass to get all of them, or you buy them one at a time. And it is on Steam. Fill up. So now we're on Philip's perspective, I'm guessing. It's probably the best guess. Philip's the donkey. The year of our Lord, 1135, had come to an end. <laughs> King Henry of England, son of William the Conqueror, had died. It was a time of poverty and death. In their despair, some had come to believe Christ and all his saints had gone to sleep and that the pillars of the earth themselves had begun to crumble. Kaz, I don't think we were on Philip before. Brother Paul? Hello? <coughs> you just crossed the bridge, right? 
it, it, was that guy always there and I just never saw him or did he magically appear? That'll be a farthing for you and a penny for your horse. Reprimand him. How dare you ask a toll from a monk? Do you know who I am, brother? Uh, the monk from the woods. Our brother Paul said you'd be coming by. He said you'd bring cheese. Cheese? It's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. I'll offer cheese. It is not much, but I can share this with you. It's a big wheel of cheese. Cloth still smells a bit like cheese it was wrapped in. So I have cloth. He took my entire fucking wheel. I said, I'll share this with you. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to pocket this entire wheel. No, it will be easier for you to fulfill your dreams. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm sure it will. Will you take care of my horse, brother? I've come to see Prior James. Prior James? That's him the bells are tolling for. Leave the horse here. I'll get it down to the priory later. Is he dead? The fish should go nicely with that cheese. <coughs> what? Why are they ringing the bells? Don't you know? The devil has come to Kingsbridge. Ah. Uh. The devil has come to Kingsbridge? You can use Philip's Bible on objects to find out what the Bible tells Philip about them, or use it on people to discuss matters of faith. I've got a bibliotech. And I use it on the cloth. Here, smell the cloth. Where's this? Toll hut. Usually Brother Paul sits here. I wonder where Paul is. Can't use the Bible on that. Let's go to the King's Bridge. So there he is, in case you can't see him. What does the Bible tell me about the, the village? Of King's Bridge and their servants. I wonder which of them led a more pious life. Okay. Road towards the north. Building by the fields. We're gonna go to the gate. Smells smells like cheese. The cloth is useless. Shut up. Looks like a strong mare must belong to a guest. Use the Bible on the horse. Whoever is righteous has regard for the life of his beast. Okay. He's just gonna quote the Bible. Horrible odor in the stables should be clean, priory full of neglect. <clears throat> it's the only cathedral in Shiring far from any town. Actually, let's go to the guest house. Considering that mare says that there's a guest here. <clears throat> I guess I can't. What is with the half? Closed. Oh. Apparently, I can go in the cloister. When he opened the sixth seal, I looked, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth. The moon became like blood. I feel like doing brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed according to their own kinds, and God saw that it was good. Okay. Let's go to the cemetery. Screw the cathedral. Graves, fresh grave. Let's do this. More, more quoting. May his soul rest in peace. That's all it does. House of the Prior. Yeah, let's go back. We heard people talking. We could just go in. Oh my. <clears throat> Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the pestilence that walketh in darkness, 
The pestilence that rode in on the lightning that struck our cathedral four years ago. What? Did you not all feel its presence here ever since? James did. And I did as well. But the Lord says, Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Our beloved Prior James has served the Lord all his life. Okay. Is he dead? He shall be delivered from the darkness. From this dark earth. The what? Prior James? Philip. Francis? Shh. For many years, James has been our prior. Yeah, I don't know. After the upcoming election, Sorry. I vow to lead Kingsbridge Priory with the same election. steady hand. Hi, Razvan. Thank you. Amen. I'm glad that Samantha can add some joy into people's lives. That's what she's meant to do. Philip, we told your brother you'd come to Kingsbridge New Year's Day. <laughs> okay, the mouth movements in this are very odd. Here, I was on my way back to Gloucester and wanted to see you. Oh look, they have Who's identical noses. In the world of politics. That's how you can tell they're brothers. Just tell us about it, Francis. Of course. They basically have the and same face with slightly different hair. A matter of what now? Two years? It's been four years, Cuthbert. <laughs> <laughs> see. How are things in St. John in the Forest, Philip? Um, better than in King, I guess. Better than <laughs> here in our mother house, Kingsbridge, it seems. I wanted to use my New Year's visit to talk to Prior James about this. James did the best he could. Did I just insult them? If you had been here, you would know that. <laughs> oh, bitches! I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. No. You're right, Philip. With a limp hand on the tiller, a ship is blown about at hazard and goes nowhere. Yeah. James meant well. Of course he did. Please, forgive me. Come by the kitchen later to see us, will you? No. Maybe. I do have a che wheel of cheese that I need to get back from someone who decided to take my entire fucking wheel of cheese. Brother Cuthbert seemed upset. Well, we all are. The way James died was disturbing. Ask about the devil. Is that why the novices talk about the devil? Prior James began mentioning him first. Seven days ago... <laughs> Brother Amicius found James's room empty. We all looked for him for hours. Then we found his footprints by the bridge and a, a hole in the ice. Oh no. No. In the small hours of Christmas Day, <coughs> he must have looked out on the river. We didn't even find his body. The river took him and the cold. I will pray for James. See me when you have time, Philip. I will be in the cathedral. Oh, dear Lord. And I should go and see how Brother Cuthbert is doing. It, it is, is good to call. see you, Philip. Maybe things will get better after the chapter elects the new prior. Hopefully. I will come by the kitchen later, Milius. Oh my god. This is asking me about his computer. What is Francis doing here? Where is he? <laughs> what do you think it means? Um, why would the young monks know anything? No they might have heard something. Us, Francis doesn't seem to be here. Maybe someone saw him leaving the cloister. Can, can I talk to the young monks instead of the garden? There we go. Hi, honey. Have you seen my brother, Francis? The priest working for Robert of Gloucester? I don't know what he's he said. He's your brother? Your family? Uh, yes, he is. 
Oh, he, he went into the cathedral, I believe. He did. I, I saw him. Thank you. You are very helpful. Should probably see if there are subtitles. Axel would be very happy if I did that. Um. Nope. <coughs> you could have asked it. Why didn't you? What what is wrong with people? Why does the cathedral look like it's oh it's out of it's it's they mentioned it it was out of uh it wasn't being very well kept up. You just sitting here? Here, let me read the word of God to you. I wonder, Francis, how much of your work is related to our Lord? All of it. But Earl Robert is not a pious man. I try to guide him as best I can. But I cannot change what he has me writing or reading. It's Jeebus! You look troubled. Francis, you look troubled. You could always read me. Like a book, little brother. It's good to see you, Philip. King Henry is dead. I know. Word reached St. John shortly before I left. First the king, and now Prior James. God has a plan. God has a plan. I know he does, but King Henry's death caused quite a commotion. No, honey, I did announce the stream. Dark I did with the hashtag. There will be war. <clears throat> I did in the announcements, honey. Rivalry for the throne. Inspect. Francis's notes about King Henry, Empress Maud, and King Stephen, Part 1, dated 1st of January, 1136. For many years, our late King Henry has been without an heir. His only legitimate son, as well as several other relatives, had drowned while crossing the English Channel. H honey, just calm down. I'll talk to you about it later, please. As well as several other relatives, had drowned while crossing the English Channel one night in 1120. Finally, his daughter Maud gave birth to a boy. It was Henry's last wish that his infant grandson would continue his reign as Henry II once the boy came of age. And until that day, his mother, the daughter of the king, would rule in his place. <clears throat> so there's a queen? Despite being the rightful heir to the throne, Empress Maud is viewed unfavorably by most of our Norman overlords. The reason is Maud's marriage to Geoffrey of Anjou... The County of Anjou and the Duchy of Normandy have been rivals for a long time, a rivalry that now is about to come to become a war, taking place right here in England. For Maud's cousin Stephen of Blois Blois has now crossed the channel from Normandy and taken the throne by force. Oh my god, my brain kinda of blanked. Politics. Oh god. <clears throat> um Let's get involved in politics. Stop the suffering. Maybe we can. I came not just to meet you. Thank you, baby. Wolf. I was sent to look for a messenger of my lord, Earl Robert. Here? In Kingsbridge? Farmers said the messenger was heading for Kingsbridge two weeks ago. The knight was carrying a confidential document that might change the course of the conflict. People here trust you. Maybe the monks here know something. We will find him. <clears throat> one more thing. No one can know why we're looking for the knight. Why are we looking for the knight again that I completely don't know? Who knows about Francis' missing knight? I'm just... Brain's not functioning. Hold on. Options. Why are we... Why are we looking for the knight? Just... No. No, stop it. Damn it. Uh. 
Hi, Heidenkind Zero. <clears throat> um, you can post a link in the Fuzzy Nuts um, Discord channel, though, Razvan. There's a Samantha chat that you can put it in. I use holy water. It's almost empty. Mm. This priory is so much bigger than our small cell in the forest. <laughs> Can I open the map? Oh my god. <sighs> the knight doesn't seem to be around here. What, what am I looking for a knight for? Oh. Brother Arnaldus, how are you? Huh? What? How are you? Are you well? Oh, Brother Philip. Yes, I am well. It's just that the dead won't stay in the ground. What? What? <clears throat> the dead. It's probably those badgers always digging up the graves. Um, here, word of God. Let's talk to you about faith. Do not rebuke an older man, but encourage him as you would a father. What was that? <laughs> what? What? Scripture, Brother Ronaldus. What? All is well. Do not mind me. Ah! What? Ah! Novices. We're not talking to novices about this night. Why do I suck at remembering why we're looking to find out about the missing night? Why, why are we caring about the missing night? I'm really stupid, god damn it. Fucking badgers. I asked not to be disturbed. This guy's an ass. Just, I'm sorry I interrupted your service. You mean Prior James's service? Quite so. I heard he fell through the ice. Horrible. Yes. I was the one who found his rosary by the river. I don't trust him. Now let me continue my work. <clears throat> Why would Prior James walk out onto the river at night? He was chased. Chased? By whom? The accuser. The what? But why would the devil be chasing him? Better to not get involved in all this. Hmm? Don't you have your own Priory cell to run? What? I don't trust him. I asked him about the devil. Let's you piss him off. Really believe the devil killed the prior? Some of the brothers do, and I respect their beliefs. Okay. It's you may never know what happened, and that's that. Well then. Now let me get back to my work. There's an oddly detailed rape in Pillars of the Earth? I have no idea. I wouldn't be surprised considering the time period it takes place. I don't want to talk to him about the night. The Marcus is up on the two. Chapter House. That's why I feel sorry for him. What we have to ask ourselves is, can our Saint Adolphus still protect Kingsbridge in these dark times? I don't know, and I don't he care. He couldn't protect Prior James. Ever since that lightning struck the cathedral, he wasn't the same. When you take over my position as sacrist, you should implore the bishop to send us a new relic. By then, I'll be sub-prior. The new prior and I will support you in this. Hmm. 
Uh, and dismiss it. All Kingsbridge needs is faith. Honey, I don't work. think you've read this in middle school. Philip of Gwyneth. I wanted to talk to you. How dare you disturb Brother Remedius Requiem? I'm I'm afraid the choir is waiting for me. Stay, brother. There's no reason you shouldn't hear what Philip has to say for himself. Um, I beg your forgiveness, I guess. I beg your forgiveness. I was overwhelmed when I heard Prior James passed. You should know better. Now, I'm sure at St. John's you're a good prior, but here we adhere to the rules. I'll ask them. Brother Andrew, have you heard about a knight in Kingsbridge? Aside from the ones that visited for Christmas? No. If there had been an official guest, I would know. And no one stayed at our guest house. Okay, this is what Wikipedia says about the book, just so you know. Um, it's a historical novel by Welsh author, Welsh-born author Ken Follett, published in 1989 of the building of a cathedral in the fictional town of Kingsbridge, England. It's set in the middle of the 12th century, primarily during the anarchy between the time of the sinking of the white ship and the murder of Thomas Beckett. The book, not, neither one of those I know because I'm not a historian. The book traces the development of Gothic architecture out of the preceding Romanesque architecture and the fortunes of the Kingsbridge Priory and the village against the backdrop of historical events of the time. So this is, it's heavily, heavily, heavily historical. Um, whether there's a scene like that or not, I don't know. I'm not worrying about that. <clears throat> Uh, you mentioned a new prior. You mentioned a new prior. The election will be held in a few days, when we all convene for the chapter meeting. I want to be the new prior. Let us continue this conversation later. Of course. Uh, there's a lot of planning for me to do for the upcoming election. <coughs> These benches are ugly looking. So what do you think it means? I don't know. There is no reason to punish us for asking. Is that him? It must be. Next time, ask him. No, you, you said you know him. What are, who are, what are they talking about? I'm just ignoring them. They're just sitting there and gossiping amongst themselves. Ugh. Collapsed tower. The cathedral main gate. Kitchen door. Philip. Brother Milius. Come. For a second I thought he was just gonna leave. Warm himself by the oven. Is that Philip? Tell him to warm himself by the oven. Thank you, Brother Cuthbert. I have not made any time for reading in a while, and I really need to because I really do like reading, especially a really good series. Did you see a knight in Kingsbridge? You mean, aside from the nobles attending the Christmas service? No, I don't remember any knights visiting us. Hmm. Hard at work, as usual, Milius? I have to serve salt fish six times a week now. We hear you have fresh fish every day at your cell in the forest. Every other day we even have poultry. You have done wonderful work at St. John's, Philip. Ooh, which book series did you ask for, Brad? We, on the other hand, had a week prior for 13 years. May the Lord rest his soul. What you worked hard for at St. John's is wasted here in the Mother House. After the election, the new prior ought to put things right. Remedius, put things right.
Mm. Who would vote for Remigius? He would be no better than Prior James. He is the sub-prior, and he made promises to some of the brothers, like the sacrist. He's about to burn all the books and documents in the prior's room. What? Including the priory's ledgers. <clears throat> Remigius says James asked for everything to be burnt after his death, except for his Bible. What? Without the ledgers, the priory's finances will be beyond saving. Was no one else nominated? Only Cuthbert. I refuse. I'm too old. No one else dares to follow in Prior James's footsteps. Not since he began talking to the devil. Oh my. What? One day he started talking to the devil. As if they were standing side by side. Is he going mad? It looks like he's throwing them on the floor, and I know he's bargaining not. with the devil for his soul, whispering about his sins. His sins. <clears throat> We'll talk more later. Do you want a cloth that smells like cheese? The cloth is useless, at least right now. Uh, how do I look at everything again? It's this. Painted pot. Millias, why do you keep a beautiful pot like this around? Oh, it, uh, it reminds me that we should strive for order and beauty. I started collecting some seeds and nuts because I wanted to start a new garden. A good idea. I never got around to collecting more, though. If you find some, let me know. <clears throat> I have never actually heard of Legends of the Dragon Realm, um, Brad. You keep everything nice and tidy around here, Milius. It's not easy. This morning, one of my ladles broke. That's never a good sign. Everything is falling apart. Yeah, I'm noticing. Um, if you guys like a good book series, I can recommend... Um, if you like D and Dungeons and Dragons, I would definitely end up recommending um, Dragonlance. Um, at least the first three books. I think the first one is Dragons of Autumn Twilight. Brother Cuthbert. Ah, we were waiting for you. I hope you brought some of that wonderful cheese you make at St. John's. I... Gave it uh, away. I gave it to one of your novices. Why would you do that? Don't criticize me! He said it's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. Greedy brother Marcus. Nice room. You are too trusting, Philip. Best talent in bronze. Thank you for the follow. <clears throat> I'm sorry for how I talked to you about the Priory earlier. It's just that at St. John's, we worked hard to become self-sufficient. We have given so much to Kingsbridge, our mother house. And the Priory here is in a horrible state. Don't you think I know that? Ah. We should be rich. The Priory has much land and collects from many parish churches. But we are in debt. Our Jeez. novices steal from us, Philip. The novices are stealing? The novices are stealing? Yes. Someone took my keys. Remigius blames me for losing them. But someone used them to steal food from the cellar more than once. Today I found something missing again. Uh, 
Let us continue another time, Brother Cuthbert. Of course. It's great. How many fish are you salting? I'm just a little curious. Like how many how many fish can you salt all at once? Can I go this way? <clears throat> no. If I open the map, can I just go places? There's a crypt I haven't been to, and there's a house of the prior I need to go to. There's also that one big house that was at the edge of town. Maybe if there's a knight that's missing, he's hiding there? I don't... I don't... I kind of zoned out on the story when it was talking about the knights. I have no idea what I'm looking for a knight for. <laughs> I suck. I'm gonna go to the stables. Why? Because I can. Just, just walk that slow, painful walk across oh. that courtyard. <laughs> just so you can cough. Is that my horse? It's my pony. Oh, it's Francis's mount. Okay, that's why. <clears throat> this one. <clears throat> path to the cloister, path to the village. The manger... Oh my god. Shabby, waste of cloth. At least it's fresh hay. Can you open the door? Did I have to wait for the sheep to move for me? Why is this locked? Locked? Why is it locked? Maybe Milius or Cuthbert know more about the night. Mushroom. Ah, uh, thank you for the follow, Bulls. <clears throat> I'm still trying to figure out where the hell I'm going. Well, there's... No, go go down to the south. I want my cheese back, you freaking thief. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, no, this is Brother Paul. Brother Paul? Philip. How's your foot? What's wrong with your foot, Brother Paul? Oh, just a chill, brain. It will ease when the spring comes. You should have a fire. It's all right. It's not that cold. Don't take it lightly. Many will die this winter for lack of food or shelter. <coughs> Remedius thinks the Lord is testing us. Only the sinners perish. No, the poor perish. And those that he has freezing out here. Don't say anything to Remedius, will you? If he thinks I've been complaining, he'll be displeased. Thank you for the bits, Mitch. The great. I'll ask you about the knight. Have you heard about a knight in Kingsbridge? A knight? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, there we he go. Was just lying by the road. Just a mile away from the priory. He must have <coughs> fallen from his horse. Where is he now? He died. We buried him in the cemetery. Did he have a name? Did he say anything? Oh, he could not speak. But the look in his eyes told me he was afraid. I held his hand and prayed with him really? while he died. Did the knight have anything with him? There was a letter. I gave it to Prior James. Remedius will probably burn it with the rest of James's papers. So we need to get into the Prior's all his books and cloister. documents shall be burnt after his death. Except for his Bible. I heard about this. I think that would be unwise. Sometimes I wonder if it was because of that letter. A few days later, Prior James fell through the ice. Right here. Philip, maybe I brought a curse on Kingsbridge. I'm gonna quote scripture. That always works, right? For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. 
Have faith in the Lord, Brother Paul. Yes. You did well. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you for reading that. Francis Knight had a letter with him. It's probably in the prior's room. Okay. This is the path to the mill. Let's go to the mill. This was stupid. This was a bad idea. Come on. Gonna move faster than this? So what are you guys thinking of this of the, about this so far? Do you Do you have a crime? Okay, so Door to the front of the cathedral. Is that him? Must be. Chapter house. No, you you said you know him. No. I need to find <clears throat> House of the Prior. That's what I need. I like how the game gives me a map, and I'm like, I just don't understand the map properly. Oh, I'm back in here. What is it? Can you not see that I'm working? Ask to see documents. I would like to take a look at Prior James's documents. And why is that? The art is nice. Philip? Well... Uh... Our little cell has given much to the mother house. I would like to ensure that all is accounted for. So you do not trust us, Philip. Is that it? The state of this priory. The state of this priory is the concern of the prior of Kingsbridge. I still would like to see the prior's documents. This is causing problems. They will be burned tonight. I heard about that. It was Prior James's last wish. I'm following his request. But the new Prior will be lost without the ledgers and contracts. Oh, no, man. After the election, I'll be the new Prior. For now, you are not. Only the chapter meeting can decide on these matters. Billy Bay 10K, thank you for the host. Of course. Brother Andrew will surely understand why you would go against James's last request. <laughs> the sacrist must organize a chapter meeting to save prior James documents. Well, that's easy enough. I know the, the few guys... If that you really want to be of help, look for Brother Cuthbert's keys. He's getting old. Misplacing them all the time. <sighs> I don't think he's misplacing them. I really don't think he's misplacing the keys. I think he's right. I think they're being stolen. So what about this fresh grave? Let's dig it up! What, what can I click on here? There's more graves there. That one. Then these guys, the novices. I wish I could ask about the keys. It's not like any of the novices, if they're stealing, would actually say, Oh, that's the guy who took my cheese! Cheese! My father gave the Priory a good deal of land to keep me fed. I won't eat salted fish all day. Me neither. Shall we go into the cellar again tonight? Yes, Brother Marcus. You still have old Cuthbert's keys? Indeed I do. I hid them right in the church. Stuffed them in the large crack in the wall. I could do some crack stuff in myself. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could. Oh my god. He hid Cuthbert's keys in a crack in the cathedral. Okay, let's go. At least it wasn't Remedius who punished us. Brother Marcus said he's taking a beating now once a week. I saw him crying yesterday. He cried? Come on. This is like he could do some crack stuffing himself. <laughs> no. He said they hid the key in some crack in the church. That's why I want to go in there. <clears throat> why didn't you? Oh God. Do you remember at this time period, a lot of like family members, a lot of families, especially no noble families, would send one of their sons. Usually, it's not the oldest, but they would. I think it wasn't the oldest, but they would send one of their sons off to become a member of the church. 
because the church had political power at the time. There it was again. <gasps> no, they said they hid the key in some crack in the church. There's a crack right there. No talking. Now we sing. Are you sure you heard something? The novice said he hid the keys in here. Yes, I'm sure. Which is why the novices are probably yeah, acting that I way, is they do have no real devotion. They're just enough. there. Calm down. Cuthbert's keys unlocked most of the doors and gates in the priory. Yay. His brother Marcus really did steal Cuthbert's keys. Did you not hear it? I should talk to Andrew Sacrist instead. It's the only way. I don't know which one's Andrew. Is it? No, I'll stay down here. I'm not good with heights. Oh, he doesn't like heights. He's like me. Silence. <laughs> um. No. Chapter house. Well, I, feel sorry I don't remember who Andrew is. Is it this guy? It's this guy. We can't allow Prior James's books to be burned. This thing kind of creeps you out. That was Prior <laughs> James's wish. This priory is in debt. And without the ledgers and documents, that will never change. Besides, the wisdom in his books is priceless. It is not up to you to make decisions in this priory, Brother Philip. I'm going to quote scripture to him, because that always works, right? Do not domineer over those in your charge, but be an example to the flock. 1 Peter, Chapter 5. You are right. You shall argue your case in front of the <coughs> brothers in a chapter meeting today. Yes! Thank you, Brother Andrew. When I'm done here, I will tell all the monks to come to the chapter house. Would it help if I went and told some of them? I feel free to do that. But I insist that the choir finishes practicing before we start. I need to see what's in the cellar. Already behind schedule. In order to save Prior James documents, all brothers need to attend the meeting. So do I need to make sure all the brothers attend the meeting? Let's save. Because I haven't done any saving yet. And we know how well I do with that. Brother Andrew, the meeting will start until... Okay. So I think I need to make sure all of them attend the meeting. I don't know. Ask him. He should know. But why don't you? Why don't you uh, talk to me? <laughs> you look like you want to ask me something. You are Philip of Gwyneth? Uh, yes, uh, but you can call me Brother Philip. You see? Told you he wouldn't mind. Yes. Now ask him. How about you ask him? I already asked Brother Andrew. What is it? Brother Milius told us you know the scripture very well. Could you tell us about God's temple? Brother Andrew wouldn't tell us. It must be a place. A cathedral. That's probably what the guest master was talking about. Each of us is God's temple in the way that he created us. And what, what if someone does something to God's temple? The scripture says, if anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. Even if he destroys his own temple of God? So for prior James, there's no salvation as well? <laughs> prior James did not commit suicide. But no one saw him that night. No one knows. God knows. God knows what sent him running out of the eyes. Religion! They say the devil was chasing him. Didn't say his name. I have seen brave men run for many reasons. Never have I seen the devil. 
So we should not make room. Oh my god, this is singing. Neither here nor in our hearts. <clears throat> All right. Yes, Brother Philip. Thank you, Brother Philip. All right. So, uh, again. God, what, what the hell that? was that? <clears throat> no, I want to go into the cathedral because I want to talk to these guys. something. He's right. Brother Andrew has arranged a meeting. Please, come to the chapter house. Yes, we'll come with you. Uh, yes. No, not until we've finished. Doesn't matter. <sighs> At least you know. I could just leave my brother there. He just stands there. Um, so far it's actually pretty interesting. Uh, the plot's a little bit deeper than I actually expected the plot to be deep, honestly. Um, but I didn't expect to have to pay as much attention to it as I'm supposed to be doing right now. It's getting cold. When will these novices learn to close the door? Hmm, here. <laughs> There will be a chapter meeting today. Don't answer the phone, baby. We'll you convinced, come. Andrew. Miracles do happen. We will be there. You have our support. D d are you? D did you hear that? I don't trust you to have heard it. You're old. There will be a chapter meeting today. Excellent. I can't wait to see you and Remigius quarrel. Brother Cuthbert? Do not worry. We are on your side. <laughs> okay. I'm not giving him the keys. Because I want these keys. No need to lock the guest house. What if I lock up what's his name in his in his room? Might as well tell Arnaldus. Brother Arnaldus. There's a chapter meeting today. Today, I'll be there. Wouldn't miss that. It's not hard to get that information, Baby Wolf Cub. Depends on what the hell they want. So, the crypt... <clears throat> Those are the stairs in the cathedral I kept trying to take that it's not letting me take, which I feel like it should be on this side. It's really confusing me this way. Cemetery. Where's the cellar? Must be the crypt is what they were talking about. Chapter house. Four court. Prior guest house. <clears throat> There's a clearing next to the toll hut. The mill is locked. Let's go to the mill. I feel like there was a way this way. Is there a way this way? So, I want to know... Can I be a total dick? And... Lock the other guy in here with the keys. So that he can't get out and attend the meeting. The keys will not be of much help. Damn it! <laughs> that would have been great. Because... Because God created us in his image. That's why we can all pray to him. Uh, we don't need to go to church for that. Hi Sam210601. No, we are the temple. But... Yeah, I wouldn't acknowledge them, baby wolf cub. That's kind of creepy. This has to open this. Yep. I got an achievement, yet another secret. Uh, what? Words carved into wood. 
Words carved into wood in the old mill found January 1136. Brothers, I have to leave. I have not found God to be here with you. The cane of subprior Remigius shall never again hit my back. Never again. Maybe I shall find God elsewhere. Thomas, September 1134. Pretty. Here, let's quote the Bible he too. He lost his faith in the priory, but I hope not his faith in God. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's go towards the south. Let's go the path between the trees because I haven't done this yet. Beach nuts. Oh, he wanted more nuts and such. Limestone? Poking up from the ground. If I were Mason, it might be of use to me. I have a feeling if I play What's-His-Name over here, or at least someone who does masonry, that's going to be important later. The hole in the ice. Let's look at the hole. <coughs> James. I pray for you that when you stand before God, he will look upon you with mercy. They are beech nuts. By God, James died here. James' body may still be here. Yes. Road. We're going to go to the kitchen. Go to the kitchen. Guess what I found? <clears throat> I found some beech nuts. Ah, we will grow a beech tree then. Wonderful. If we ever get around to starting the garden. I'm sure you will. I have a feeling that the cathedral's gonna take place here. Garden of Eden achievement unlocked. <clears throat> uh, did I miss any of the monks? Crap. What was no that? talking. Now we sing. Are you sure you heard something? You still singing? Yes, I'm sure. Please come to the chapter house. No. Okay, fine. Oh, you know what I need to do? Now that I'm done with the keys, let me go give them back. It was Just just give the keys back. No, stop. Stop! Stop it now. Milius, what can I... Just stop. Here, let's ask about this, actually. Try James. It's probably amongst the things that Remigius is going to burn. Oh, no. Yeah, I talked to the old man outside room. the church. Maybe you can talk him out of it. I don't have to talk you him out like of it. We're holding a meeting. important to do. I'll be here if you need me. Here. You can have your keys. Cuthbert, I believe I found your keys. Where did you find them? The thief hid them in the cathedral. That is a sacrilege. Will you report the thief to Remigius, Brother Philip? I will think about it. Keep them until we know what to do, will you? Ah, oh, okay. Sure. Are we done yet? Let's see if I have to talk to my brother or something. <gasps> oh, 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 the old man. The monk Paul, brother Paul, by the by the toll bridge. You're right. If that's who you're talking about. No, I did not talk to him. I was like, who are you? You sit out all the way over here. Obviously, you're not important. Should probably tell him, huh? <laughs> There will be a chapter meeting soon. Ah, thank you for letting me know, Philip. Ah, oh, his foot. foot. Oh. Kids do cold for you here. 
can't do anything about this foot. Here, have this. Maybe a hot stone wrapped in a cloth like this might help Paul. Where the fuck am I gonna get a hot stone? Oh. I will not add to the mess. Uh. Oh my god. Yeah, I remember you talking to me before. Hi, Sam. Path around the cathedral. What does this take me to? Oh. Can I get a rock or something? Where am I going to get a stone? Let me see. Damn it, where the hell am I getting a stone? I don't think I can go into the guest house. Then... The cloth is useless. What if I just get hot stones? Ah, wonderful. I always put some extra stones on the stove to warm up water. Put one in your pocket, you'll keep warm. Oh? Ouch! Ow! Oh, they're hot. It smells like cheese. <laughs> Perfect to keep warm on cold winter days. Nice and warm. And I didn't burn my hands, Milius. I knew you could do it. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Quick. Quick. What happens if it gets cold? Want a rock? Have a rock. Here, Paul. Oh. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> a hot stone. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's a mercy, Philip. Thank you. Remedia should give you a fire, or not have you sit here at all. I don't really mind. Winter is bound to end sometime. Philip, if you ever run into trouble with Remedius, be careful to answer him. Do not stay silent. Silent? Nothing makes him angrier than someone who doesn't answer. He becomes weak and defensive. It's not fitting for a sub-prior, let alone prior. So don't answer him sometimes and it makes him weak. Oh my god. Let's go. Save. Do it right here. Okay, 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 I got this, I got this, I think. Can I, can I? Let's go here. Why cathedrals? Let's go to the chapter house. Are you ready? We are still waiting for the cantor. The rest of the brothers will be here in Oh my god, why are we waiting for the cantor? The greater temple? Talking. Now we sing. Are you sure you heard something? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, what is it he says? Please come to the chapter house. No, not until we've finished. Let's talk to Francis about the letter real quick. Because I never did that. The letter is probably in the prior's room. But the sub-prior is going to burn all of James's documents. What? We cannot allow that to happen, do you hear? Of course not. There's nothing. Calm down and concentrate. Here. 
Let me talk about scripture to you. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, I trust. I shall not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? Okay. But Adolphus is not of flesh. Oh, God. Did you not hear? Please, come to the chapter house. No, not until we finish. Well, when are you gonna finish? No, I'll stay down. I'm not good with... I think I heard it again. It's just gonna end up quoting the same shit to when him. When I am afraid, in God, what can... But Adolphus is not off. Oh, God. Adolphus. Let me just talk to them. In trouble. Could have done this earlier. Hi, Tim Penguin. They won't. They won't sing. It's Adolphus. There was nothing. Believe me. What's with his eye? I heard him crying in the crypt. I think I heard him too. No, you are mistaken. It sounded like a whip, like he was chastising himself. It's the end of days. It's the end of days. Brother Philip, please help me. Prove to them that there is nothing and no one down there. Oh my fucking god, thank. <gasps> now I have to go down. Adolphus? Silence. No, I'll stay. I'm not good. Is this not the crypt? So is there another crypt over? Oh. Damn it, it's right here. I missed it this entire time. That's why you're supposed to be doing this. This, 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 this. Leave the crypt. Iron gate. Locked. Locked. Don't worry, I've got Cuthbert's keys. What the hell is this? Let's see what we can find. No reason to be afraid. What? Nothing. These old cathedrals are bound to make strange sounds. Um, I have a feeling someone's been being punished down here or something. Nothing here. The saint rests in peace. Even if it is Adolphus, we would have to welcome him. <laughs> Looking for like a ghost. Thought so. Nothing here. It's over here. Okay. This darkness. Hello? There's something trembling in the top right corner of the screen. I don't know if you guys can see it. No. No one. Not a thing. Well, there's something moving here. Right here. Like, look. <laughs> Hello? What is it? Ah! What is that? What the hell? What is that? What is that? It's the size of a child. Hello? Oh. It's an owl. Oh. An owl. <laughs> Just an owl. How did an owl get in here? I would be relieved to know that. I should tell them. Hey, owl. The brothers did hear something after all. Okay, let's leave. Guess what, guys? It's an owl. Fucking idiots. There is no need to worry, brothers. Adolphus is resting in peace. It was just an owl. I, I told you it was nothing. God bless you, brother Philip. God bless us, everyone. Now, be silent, concentrate, and... You done yet? 
Brother Andrew has arranged a meeting. Yes, please go ahead. We will be there in a few minutes. Thank fucking God! Where's my Hogwarts letter, you elf bitch? <laughs> we will be here if you... <laughs> the choir has finished singing. The cantor should find time now. Are you ready for the chapter meeting, Brother Philip? If you have any other business to take care of in Kingsbridge, do it now. The meeting could take a long time. Oh my god. I'm not ready yet. Because I want to say. I'm not ready. Let me know. We must be. Okay, whatever. Look at the benches. Here the brothers hold elections all the time when all brothers are equal. Long ago, all monks used to be equal. Okay. Save. Save. I think I got everyone. And according to what I understand about this, remaining silent when the other guy is talking will be great. The chapter meeting can now begin. The day will be over when we are finished. If there are other problems you wish to attend to, do it. The chapter meeting is more important. Of course. But there is one more matter I need to address first. We are still looking for the man who stole Cuthbert's keys. Do you know who the thief is? I'm not going to give the novice's name just because they seem to torment them. I cannot give you a name. If there is a thief among us, we shall find him, if God so wills. Now, let us begin. How to use the hack party members feature for Fuzz Queens? I don't know. That's um that's an is it question. He's the one that knows how Fuzz Coins works, and I don't. If anyone else who's on the stream knows, you can feel free to inform Sam. And this is why Prior James's wish must not be honored. Kingsbridge Priory would be beyond saving without financial records. I think we have all understood the reason for your concern, Brother Philip. But before we come to a decision, let us hear other voices of concern. I would like to know why you would doubt the wisdom in Prior James's decision. Maybe you didn't know him as well as we did, Philip. I can say I knew him well. We all here knew him. So did you know him? I'm gonna insist on that I knew him. I knew him well, and I know he would agree with me. Philip, you are going too far. I will tell brothers how let him fire. Brother, let's hear what he has to say. Let Philip speak. Oh heavens. Hear him out, brothers. I was stubborn as well, but he made me see it. Well, that's not an easy thing to do. There he is. I owe James much. He was the one who asked me to take care of St. John in the forest. One of the most prosperous cells in all of Shiring, if not England. It was a wise decision then. But his last wish was not. Well, was it? What are you waiting for? Answer me. I'm gonna say nothing. What are you trying to achieve with your silence? You waste our time. Prior James was a troubled man. Yes. He left the prior in the dead of night. <coughs> God was testing Prior James. Kitty pictures get I put up on Discord. The devil chased him. Do you doubt that? Do you doubt that, Philip? Surely you must have an answer. I'm gonna... I know because Prior James confided in me. I'm gonna say nothing. <laughs> Your silence is offensive. You came to talk, so talk. Maybe it wasn't the devil. We've never seen him. The novices would be better advised not to speak up. Philip is a good man. He was the only one to say I should have a fire. But did he do anything besides talk? Yes, 
He brought me a hot stone. That's our Philip. Philip, you've been holding your tongue. Maybe you think you have already convinced everyone here. But why don't you tell us the real reason you have come before us? You not only came to save these books, you have another motivation, do you not? We deserve the truth. I'm gonna say what nothing. What are your true intentions? Because he gets pissed off if you keep saying anything. If you don't say anything. Let me answer. Yeah, everyone will talk for don't you if you say speak nothing. for him. He hasn't answered any of my questions. Oh my god, Sam. Look around you. This priory is in a sorry state. Please vote to save the Prior's documents from the fire. It's the only way to help this Priory. I say we leave the decision not up to a vote, but to Remedius. That is against the rules. Is it? He will be our new Prior in a few days. Cuthbert declined, do you not remember? I remember well. And I say, no one in Kingsbridge is better suited for Prior than Remigius. <laughs> well, thank you, brother. Unfortunately not. Well, that's true. Here, here. I wonder why Cuthbert declined. Surely not. That said, there is someone not from our Priory. Someone better suited. I nominate Philip of Gwyneth to be the new prior of Kingsbridge. I kind of figured this was going to happen. I knew it. That's well, yes, why obviously. you're here. Excellent choice. No. I, what I, about Remedius? That's surprising. Great Probably idea. Philip. Brother Philip, do you accept the nomination? Yes. He doesn't want to, but yes. Thank you for your kind offer, but we would not want to impose on you, Brother Remigius. Oh, but, but I insist. I will help you. No, you really must not. Baby we Wolf will see you later. Picture. Thank you. We don't have much time. Evening Mass will begin soon. Should I not have accepted the nomination? You've never been good at saying no. And Milius is right. Kingsbridge needs you. What about St. John's? I will ride there tomorrow. I will let them know you will be staying in Kingsbridge for a few days. Thanks to you, these documents and books will not be burned. Now, we have to find that letter. You truly think the letter can help prevent a war? If the message says what I think it says, then yes, I do. Rivalry for the Throne, Part 2. Francis' notes about the late King Henry, Empress Maud, and King Stephen, Part 2, dated 1st of January, 1136. Our new King Stephen is supported by most of our Norman overlords and even by the church. His younger brother Henry is Bishop of Winchester, one of the most important priests in all of England. He made Stephen swear an oath to reserve power to the church, which had little influence on political affairs under King Henry, a good day for the church and for us. The trouble is that my Lord Earl Robert of Glau Gloucester is one of the king's bastards. He wants to see his half-sister Maud on the throne, believing she would heavily rely on his guidance and advice during her reign. Okay, so he wants Maud on the throne so that he can end up being king in the shadows, basically. In the name of Empress Maud, he and his allies have formed a rebellion against King Stephen not long now, and there will be war. Now, let us look for the letter. It's going to be hidden somewhere. Oh, dear God. The handwriting on this tablet is hardly legible. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. Did Prior James like this? Let's continue looking. Hmm. Just scrolls. James spent much time writing in the last ten years. 
Instead of a prior, he became more of a recluse. That is what you monks do, isn't it? It used to be. Prior James was working on a text. Our God is a consuming fire, and whom he destroyed shall be raised at the end of days and shall destroy him. The first line is from the scripture, but I do not believe the second one is. It's weird. Philip, we must focus on the letter. I'm looking! Piece of shit! It's dark. We don't have much time. There's a tablet here under the bed. Nothing under here. Hmm. Oh god. More books, tablet. <clears throat> the writing here is strangely distorted and illegible. But it must be James's writing. Age can be a troublesome burden. Hmm. Is it in here? Yep, found it. Francis, I think I found it. In the Bible? Revelations. The Apocalypse of St. John. And they called to the mountains and rocks. Re Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne. And from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come. And who can stand? The lamb? What was James afraid of? Was it this letter? No, the letter is still sealed. Break the seal. Oh my god. Letter dated December 18th, 1135. Robert of Gloucester, name the day and we will be ready to shed blood in the name of Empress Maud. I and my bondsmen will ride against Stefan of Blois. We do not start the war, but we shall unleash it. Stefan himself started it the day he betrayed King Henry's daughter and took her throne. He and those who swore loyalty to him, Bartholomew, Earl of Shiring. Oh, this is it. You found it. The Earl of Shiring is about to start a war. Yes. He's made contact with my own master, Earl Robert of Gloucester. Who is this King Stephen that has taken the throne? A nephew of King Henry. Do you ever think of the day our parents died? Francis. N oh my god, we're Batman. No, I don't like to talk of that. I know. It's just that I think of them all the time. And I've always blamed King Henry. The church suffered under his rule as much as we did in Wales. Philip, you have to show this letter to the Bishop of Kingsbridge. Why me? Why me? Because you have to. There's no other way. Our late King Henry was opposed to Rome's influence in England. King Stephen, on the other hand, swore to preserve the rights and privileges of the church, and we can help him if you tell the bishop to protect Stephen. What? You want the bishop to help the new king, King Stephen? I want a king who supports the church. I want these dark times to end. I want to stop the Earl of Shiring from starting a war. He could set the whole of England on fire. My lord, the Earl of Gloucester, can never know what I was doing here. It's Gloucester. You must not tell the truth about how or where you got this letter. Don't tell anyone I was involved. That's so fucking weird. Ugh. Just like being involved in a war or just do nothing. Let the world burn. Do you really think the bishop will help? Tell him you found the letter by coincidence. And if he does not believe me, what then? He will believe you. The question is, will he really try to stop the Earl of Shiring? 
I will ride to St. John's and tell your monks you will stay in Kingsbridge until the election. What if the Earl of Shiring finds out what I'm doing? What if the bishop tells him? Philip, calm down. He is your bishop. I'm a simple monk. Who am I to talk to a bishop? Uh, to help Francis to uncover conspiracy against the king, nominated to become prior of Kingsbridge, agreed to meet the bishop, did not report Brother Marcus the thief, you gave Brother Paul a hot stone and soothed his pain, Remigius still holds you in contempt. <laughs> you found a message in the mill, and you found beech nuts for Milius's garden. Well then. I'm actually not going to continue with chapter 2 at the moment, but we'll see where it goes in the beginning. I get to play as a whole new character, hunt for food.